To pair wireless keyboards like my Bluetooth Logitech keyboard and mouse to an iPad is really super simple and we're gonna do it right now. And later on, I'm gonna give you some keyboard shortcuts as well to make using the keyboard on your iPad even more accessible. So the first thing you're gonna do is press the settings button on your iPad and then go over to where it says Bluetooth. From here, your keyboard or your mouse is gonna have a Bluetooth button. For me, I'm gonna press and hold the third option because I'm gonna pair it up to Bluetooth number three. Your device will start pinging or flashing and in your Bluetooth settings, it's gonna show your other devices. So I'm gonna select on MX Keys Mini and this is gonna start pairing up. Then it's gonna pop up and say, enter this code here and then select enter. So 787, 852, enter. And you see here it now says connected and I can go ahead and start using my keyboard to control my iPad. Very similarly on your mouse, you will have a button that you press and hold on the MX Master 3. It is down the bottom and then it pops up here on your iPad. You simply select on that device and within a few seconds, it will be paired as well. It'll say MX Masters 3 would like to pair. Simply select on pair and then you can go ahead and start using your keyboard and your mouse to type into your iPad. I'm gonna give you a few quick shortcuts here with some really common keyboard shortcuts for you uh, to make your use of the keyboard even better. If you press Command and H, that will bring you straight to your home screen. Or if you press Command and Spacebar, this is gonna bring up Spotlight Search where you can start typing in or looking for an application. So it could be looking for Chrome, for example, and then hit Enter. This will launch an application for you. I'm gonna press Command H again to bring us back to that desktop. If you wanted to switch in between tabs, just like on your Mac, Command and Tab will show you all the applications you have open and you can simply just jump between any apps you have open. If you wanted to take a screenshot, Command, Shift and 4 will take a screenshot in your iPad and then you can go ahead and just hit Done. You could zoom in, you could edit it, you could grab your pen and mark it up, you could crop it, whatever you like. I'm using the mouse right now to go ahead and crop and then select Done once you're done or just delete it. The last keyboard tip I wanna show you for today is Command, Option and D which is going to either show or hide your docking station down the bottom. Again, Command and H is gonna take us straight home. And there you go, it is that easy to pair your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to your iPad, as well as some common keyboard shortcuts to make using your keyboard even easier on your iPad. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up, and if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. In the wild, where the trees sway, there's a fox bright and gay